After discussing about different scientists and their contribution in the field of microbiology, let's come to a very important uh, topic that is the Cochise postulates. This is very frequently asked in the microbiology vivas and may be asked in the university exams also as a short note or nowadays there is a trend of asking the explain why question. So one explain why question is expected from this Cochise postulates as well. Okay. So let's talk about this Cochise postulates. So Cochise postulate or the Cochise law refers to four criterias. This refers to the four criterias. What is this Cochise postulate? This Cochise postulate is that an organism can be accepted as the causative agent of a disease only if those four criterias are fulfilled. Those four criterias are the Cochise postulates. Okay, only if those uh, four criterias uh, or the four laws of the robot coach are accepted then only I mean uh, those four criteria are fulfilled then only we will accept a causative agent as I mean we will uh, accept our organism as a causative agent of a particular disease so what are those four criteria? the four criteria are that the organism should must be constantly associated should must be constantly associated with the disease this is the criteria of constant association what does this mean the meaning of this thing uh, of constant association is that if an organism is causing diarrhea in a particular uh, uh, person then the same organism should not cause any other disease in a uh, another person okay so suppose if vibrio cholerae is causing uh, diarrhea in a person A, so it should not cause endocarditis or meningitis in person B. It should only cause uh, diarrhea in person B also. Then we will call it as constantly associated microorganism. Okay, so this is the first criteria that is constant association. The causative agent or the microorganism should be constantly associated with the disease. This is the criteria of constant association the next criteria is isolation of the organism in pure culture so it should be possible to isolate the organism in pure culture from the lesion suppose someone has got the uh, infection over that skin okay we will collect the pus from that we will culture it and we will identify the microorganism okay so that means we are able to culture that microorganism in a culture media that means it is able to it is i mean uh, we are able to culture that organism so we can isolate the organism in a pure culture media okay so this is second criteria it should be able to isolate the organism in pure culture media the third criteria is similar disease in the animal similar disease in the animal that means if a organism is collected from a person okay and we inoculate the same organism in some other animal it should cause the similar type of disease in the animal also then this is the third criteria this should also be fulfilled then fourth is the re-isolation should be possible so as we have inoculated the microorganism in some animal then we should be able to isolate the same organism from that animal in pure culture in pure culture so that is the Fourth criteria of re-isolation should be possible. It should be possible to re-isolate the organism in pure culture from the lesion produced in the laboratory animals. So only if these four criteria are fulfilled, then we will accept as a microorganism as a causative agent of a particular disease. Okay, so this is the Koch's postulates. Let's recapitulate it. So let's repeat it. That is the constant association. The first criteria is of constant association the second criteria is the isolation of organism in pure cultures the third criteria is similar disease should be caused in animals also in laboratory animals also and the fourth criteria is that we should be able to re-isolate the organism from the laboratory animal now the next is the exceptions or the fallacies of the coaches postulate so there is very frequently they asked uh, about the uh, fallacies of the uh, fallacies or the exceptions of the uh, coaches postulates or this is asked as the explain why question also they ask you 
that why the coach postulates are not universal then you have to answer this fallacies only uh, fallacies only if they ask you the coach's postulates are open for criti criticism explain why then you have to answer again this same exceptions or the fallacies if they ask you all pathogenic organisms do not obey coach's postulates then also you have to answer the same four fallacies so whenever you are writing the answer for these three questions you should first write the coach's postulates first write the four coach's postulates and then tell or write about the exception or the fallacies of the coach's postulates then your answer will be complete and you will be getting full out of full mask marks mark so now let's talk about the fallacies of the coach's postulates so the first criteria was of constant association so constant association how is that not possible so suppose the example of salmonella so in the case of salmonella infection we can say that we know certain cases where the salmonella bacteria was present in the organism uh, in the person but the manifestations of the disease were not there like in the case of the typhoid mary so typhoid mary had the salmonella bacteria in her body but she did not had the manifestations of the disease although she spread those salmonella to all other the to all other persons who were coming to uh, her restaurant for uh, eating food so she was spreading it but she did not herself had the uh, uh, manifestations of the disease that means it is uh, you know it is in contrast to the first criteria of constant association so the first criteria uh, ka contrast mil gaya humko after that we have the the second criteria the second criteria is of the you know uh, the organism should be able to uh, you know we should be able to isolate the organism in pure culture but we know that mycobacterium leprae treponema pallidum this cannot be cultured uh, or these cannot be isolated from pure culture so this is in contrast to the second criteria that the organism should be we should be able to isolate the organism in pure culture here in case of mycobacterium leprae and treponema pallidum we are not able to isolate the organism in pure culture so this is in contrast to the second criteria the third criteria was that the organism should cause the similar type of infection in laboratory animals also but in case of nigeria gonorrhea and borrelia burgdorferi we see that the similar disease cannot be demonstrated in the laboratory animals if we infect those laboratory animals with these organisms nigeria gonorrhea and borrelia burgdorferi so similar disease is not seen in them that means this is in contrast to the third postulate okay third postulate of the similar disease in the laboratory animals the fourth postulate was to re uh, first fourth postulate was about the re isolation of the microorganism from the laboratory animals infected laboratory animals but in case of clostridium tetani we see that the in uh, the infection is by the clostridium tetani but the pathogenesis is due to the tetanus i mean uh, the toxin of the clostridium tetani okay and that toxin can be demonstrated in case of clostridium tetani infection but not the clostridium tetani bacteria okay so if we are injecting the clostridium tetani in a uh, suppose a uh, laboratory animal then we will, we will be having the similar type of disease there will be tetanus in that animal but we will not be able to isolate the clostridium tetani from that animal however we, we will be able to isolate the toxin from that animal but not the bacteria that means re isolation is not possible in this case so this is in contrast to the fourth postulate so this is how all the four postulates or all the four laws are having some or the other fallacies so these are the different fallacies or exceptions to the laws of the coach's postulates and whenever you were uh, you were asked about the uh, about these uh, you know about these explain why like coach's postulates are not universal explain why or the coach's postulates are open for criticism explain why or all pathogenic organisms do not obey coach's postulates explain why then you have to write first the uh, uh, the you know the coach's postulate this four coach's postulate this is i i just talked about this earlier also but 
I am re-emphasizing over this. So you should first write this course postulate and then write about the fallacies. Write about these fallacies or the course postulate. If you write these two things, then you will be getting full marks in this question. So this is all about the coaches postulates.